everyone, Miss Zoe here at the library. Um, it's a bit quiet and we're getting lots of work done, but we really miss you all. So today I thought I would introduce a new video series. Um, as most of you know, Miss Heather and I started our monthly makers meeting um, where we get together, make cool crafts, learn new things on the last Saturday of every month. So with that in mind, I thought it would be a good idea if I posted a craft video once a week on Saturdays um, where I'd show you how to make cool projects with things you can find around your house. So today I thought we'd do some cool projects with paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, um, just because I know a lot of us have those lying around. Um, if you do these crafts, we'd love to see them. You can email them to us. Um, pictures to us at ekpublib at comcast.net or if you post them on social media you can use the hashtag makers meeting ekpl um, we'd love to see them and if you send them to us we might even post them on the website let us know what you think okay so our first craft is going to be this cute little butterfly craft made out of paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls doesn't matter which one um so if we go here here are our supplies. We have markers. You can also use uh, paint, crayons, anything you want. They'll all work fine. Um, paper towel rolls, tape or glue. Um, tape was just easier for me in this situation, so I used tape, but glue will work fine. You could also use staples if your parents have a stapler. Um, we got some pipe cleaners and a pair of scissors. So our first step is to Cut. You want four pieces of your cardboard roll, um, probably about an inch. Doesn't really matter depending on how big you want your butterfly to be. Um, so then your next step would be to decorate. I did polka dots, just some simple polka dots, and then I colored the inside red and green just because those were the colors I felt like today. Um, after you decorate, what you're going to do is you want to get this... Um, almond shape I guess you could say so you just take your round paper towel roll and you squish it you, want, you might need a little glue to keep those pieces together but that's not a big deal squish it so then once you have them shaped colored and shaped what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put two points together and this is where you tape you tape or you glue or you staple right here and you do that with each set. So you're gonna have two on that side and two on that side. And once you tape them together, that one's falling apart a little bit, but once you tape them together, they'll kind of look like that. Okay, so I have my wings taped together. Um, I alternated my colors just to give it a little more creativity. So now you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and you wanna turn it into the antenna and the body. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, doing this one handed is a little bit tricky, fold your pipe cleaner in half and then you're gonna roll the tips. Doesn't have to be fancy, just enough so it looks like little antennas. So once you have your antenna folded, I squeezed mine together really tight um, you're gonna position your wings and you're gonna tape it all together. So once you tape it all together, it should look kind of like that. And this is your finished product. Our next craft is gonna be a rain stick. Okay, for our supplies, what we're gonna use, we're gonna need some plastic wrap, some aluminum foil, a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. Your rain stick will just be a little bit shorter. It doesn't really matter. Um, some tape, doesn't matter which kind. I just used this one because it was a little bit easier. Some stickers, some construction paper, markers, anything you wanna use to decorate. Um, a pair of scissors. For the insides, I have beans and Epsom salt. Um, a lot of people use rice, 
You can use whatever you have in the cabinet that your parents don't mind you using. Um, you'll need a funnel to help you get it into the roll, the cardboard roll. And now with a parent's permission or a parent's help, you're gonna use brass fasteners. You can use nails if you have thumbtacks. Um, and then with the aluminum foil, we'll also be making these cool little doodads and those will go inside your paper towel roll. So to make these little things, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little square, um, probably the size of the paper towel roll about give or take, doesn't really matter, of aluminum foil. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half and you're going to keep folding it until you get a long skinny piece. And once you get that long skinny piece, what you're going to do is you can make a zigzag or you can make the squiggle by wrapping it around something or you could even wrap it around your finger to make that little loop-de-loop. -loop. So the next step is going to be saran wrap. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic wrap and you're going to cut a little piece just big enough to cover the end of your, your roll and then extra so it, if you can see here, so it fits around the base. So like I did with this one already, what you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic wrap and you're going to put it over the top, press it down, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a piece of tape and wrap it around so just like this end the whatever you put inside the beans the salt the rice won't escape so you're going to put a piece of tape around the base okay so after you've done one end of your paper towel roll you're going to put those squigglies you made and you're going to fit them right in put them both in and then you're going to go over to your supplies and you're going to grab your funnel you're going to put that in and then you're going to grab whatever you decided to put inside. This is the salt. You put the salt in. Oops, it's going to get stuck. And then my beans, oops, they're over here, are too big to fit through the funnel. So we're just going to Carefully pour them in, make a little mess, but. Once you have all your beans, your rice, your salt, whatever you do, wanted to put in there, once it's all in there, then you're gonna put the other end on top. All right, so once both ends are covered and taped, make sure they're secure so nothing can get out. With a parent's help, you're gonna wanna put little holes in your paper towel roll, and you want them kind of all over the place. I only put four here, but it's good enough. So then you're gonna take your fasteners, your nails, whatever you use, and you're gonna stick them in there. Once they're in, you're gonna go over and you're gonna get a piece of tape, and you're gonna tape them so they stay. All right, so once you have all the fasteners in, this is what I have, you can, you can finally hear Sounds pretty good. So now comes the fun part of the decorations. So I have construction paper, stickers, like I said before, markers. You can even cut up the foil. Make it how you want it. So for this one, I used some colored paper, some markers. I have some ocean stickers along with some jungle stickers. Um, whatever you want, however you want it to look. I drew, drew some flowers. And then you are done.